Hey, welcome back to this next lesson on how to create zigzag. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make the ball go faster as the player's score increases. Now, this isn't very hard to do, so this video won't be very long. But to create this game mechanic, we want to open up our menu controller script. Inside this script, we can create a new variable. This is just going to be a serialized field of type float, and I'm going to call it speed interval. This will be for how much we want the speed to increase each time we increase it. Once you have this, we can then scroll down to the bottom where we'll create a new function. So this will be a void function called speed up. And then inside this function, we just need one line of code, which is going to be ball controller dot instance dot current speed. And then we want to plus equals speed interval. Now we just need to call this function, and you can call this function at any reoccurring moment of your game. If you wanted to, you could create a timer so that every 30 seconds you increase the speed. But for my version of the game, I want the speed increase to be based on the score of the player. And so I'm going to add it to the end of our add score function. So now I'm going to save this script and we'll go back to Unity. Now inside Unity, I need to select our canvas game object because that's what I have the menu controller script attached to. And then because our player's score increases quite often, I want our speed interval to be pretty small. And so I'm just going to make it 0.1. This will make it so that our speed doesn't get too fast too soon. But to make it easier to test, I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to make it 0.5. So now let's play our game and test this mechanic. All right, so here, if I start our ball rolling, we'll be able to see if our ball gets faster as our score gets bigger. Oh, definitely. You can already tell it's going a lot faster. Ah. All right, so it looks like it's working but I'm going to change this now back to 0.1. All right, so that's everything that we're gonna cover in this lesson on how to create the speed up mechanic for our zigzag game. And now at this point, we've actually finished the bare bones for zigzag. We have one more video planned for this series, which is going to be on things that you can do to change this game and make it your own. But at this point, we have all of the basic mechanics implemented into the original ZigZag game. And so thank you for watching and following along.